This is not Adam Pierce's music. Not Adam Pierce. Yeah, I, I feel like we're going to be here for a while, so I might as well come and, you know, earn my pay. Well, uh, what about Money in the Bank? You're dropping my government name. What are you doing? Puck, I do, I do have that. What did you expect, though? I mean, Seth Rollins. I didn't expect this. Well, he was collateral damage. He can no longer battle for a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity because he didn't beat Damian Priest on Saturday night because of your actions. My actions? Well, I'd love to know what Pat thinks of this. I feel like I got some business in the ring right here. No, no, he's almost there, ladies and gentlemen. This takes too long, doesn't it? Right? Like the singing and... It's sort of enjoyable. You like this? Do you like this? This guy never invites me on his show. Well, Phil, I'm about to say something good about you. You are certainly a man who can make an impression because you pissed this guy off, too. So let me get this straight. Now you want to sit on the sidelines. Come on, Mr. Center of Attention. I know you love the spotlight. Come on into the ring. Or are you afraid I'm going to kick your ass? Oh, he's at... No, no, no. He said he's going to kick your ass. I don't think you used the word chicken. No, no, no. It is hard to hear it here. On it was loud. I'm not sure everybody here in attendance remembers the last time you and I were face to face in a ring. I'm sure you do, because it was probably a tremendous thrill for you. But I warned you that that time was the only time I was going to let you speak disrespectfully to me. So please, Seth, watch what you say. Me disrespect the best in the world? No, I wouldn't dare. No, Punk, I'm just out here. I'm out here because I, I really think you could help me understand. You know, you're talking actions have consequences. I'm trying to understand why that applies to everyone in your life except you. Because, look, I understand a lot of what happened on Saturday. Look. The official made a mistake. That happens in all sports. Drew, Drew McIntyre cashed in his Money in the Bank contract. He's got every right to do that. So I understand both of those things. What I can't understand, what I can't wrap around my head, is why you decided to do the one thing, the one thing I told you not to do when you showed back up here. Why did you stick your nose in my business? <sighs> Your business. That's right. World title is my business. Well, uh, let me let me explain it to you since you came out here for clarity. I didn't stick my nose in your business. I was handling my business. Oh, right, 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 of course. All right? This you? is personal with me. I would like to think that maybe being a husband and a daddy to Rue, you would understand. Yeah. Doesn't feel good, does it? And I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. There's a man running around with a bracelet with my wife and my dog's name on it, all right? Might not mean anything to you. It might be 15 cent retail, but it's the intent, and I'm gonna get my pound of flesh. But, all right, I see it. I see it, and I, I hear the people, and look, I have no quarrel with you, all right? Me coming out is personal. I was handling my business. If I somehow screwed things up for you, if you can't be world champion or whatever your little pipe dream is, listen, listen, yeah, pipe dream, pipe dream. I'm trying to apologize to you. Pay attention, all right? Legitimately.
Spit it out. I know apologizing is not your forte. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to screw anything up for you. I'm a little snowblind with rage right now. I have a singular focus. I understand you do too, and I screwed that up, and I'm sorry. But because it's you, I can't really be that sorry, can I? Oh, jeez. Just had to. I thought it was real. You always have an excuse, don't you? You think I always have an answer. An answer, right? You always got something. I think they got a term for that. It's called gaslighting. You probably never, ever, ever in your life sincerely apologize for anything because nothing's ever your fault, is it? You're so smart. You got it all figured out. You're sly. You're crafty. You're the king of propaganda. But man, you got to be the dumbest, the dumbest smart dude I've ever met in my entire life. Now, you got most of it figured out except for the one thing, the one thing that would actually make you the hero that you think you are. You haven't figured out that the world does not revolve around CM Punk. So look, you can be, you can be a selfish bastard anywhere else. You can burn bridges anywhere else. I'll, I'll kind of let it slide because I'm above you. And I'm not just talking about the heels. I was willing to let that selfishness slide until Saturday. Because if it wasn't for you, I would be standing here right now, world heavyweight champion and for the time being I'm out of cracks at that title it's not just a pipe dream maybe for you but it's not for me. For me, being world heavyweight champion is the most important thing in this business. You took that from me, so it's my turn to take from you. You wanna get your pound of flesh from Drew McIntyre so badly that you don't care about collateral damage? Well, guess what? That's not gonna happen on my watch. I could take a cheap shot at you right here, right now, but I know your fragile little body isn't 100%. But I promise you this, when you are cleared, you will not even be able to say the name Drew McIntyre before I snap your arm and put you back on the shelf. Actions have consequences. Those are the words that CM Punk mentioned as he started to talk here tonight on Monday Night Raw. There are consequences to your actions. And for CM Punk, he now has to watch his back on two sides. One from Drew McIntyre, the other, Seth freaking Rollins. Tell everybody at ringside on Michael.